Imagine this, having a bedroom that looks out over the neo-futuristic city that you've built. Fantasy to most, reality to few. Dubai-based real estate tycoon Mohammed Alibar is among those lucky few. The business mogul and founder of MR Properties is responsible for establishing the world's tallest man-made structure, the Burj Khalifa, and the largest shopping mall in the world, the Dubai Mall. And in this video today, we take an in-depth look at the super successful lifestyle of Muhammad Alibar and how he became the top Emirati businessman. So how did it all begin for Muhammad Alibar? He was born on the 8th of November 1956 and grew up in the Rashidiya region of Dubai. Alibar's father was the captain of a trading vessel. Being the eldest of the 12 children of his father, Muhammad had very humble beginnings. But his life changed when Mohammed received a government scholarship to pursue higher education in the United States. After pursuing his education and returning to Dubai, Mohammed started his career as a banking manager at the Central Bank of the UAE before relocating to Singapore to be the director of Al Khalij Investments, a government-owned company. Taking all that he'd learned in an evolving, hyper-capitalist Singapore, the Dubai lad returned home to the UAE in 1992. Gradually, he began spearheading Dubai's infrastructural and economic growth, working directly for the Dubai government to expand the region's business prospects and turn it into an investment hub in the Middle East. It was during this period that he built up a strong relationship with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Emir of Dubai. Now backed by His Highness himself, Mohammed put his plans into action and established MR Properties. The real estate company was co-owned by Al Abair the royal family, and other rich Emirati investors. Rumor has it, when the plans for Burj Khalifa were being proposed, Mohammed Alibar presented His Highness with nine designs, which upon seeing the sheikh simply walked out of the meeting, leaving him to ponder whether he liked it or not. But things were resolved, and with the blessings of His Highness, the current Burj Khalifa was finalized and eventually built. When asked how he feels about the structure, Alibar said, I get up every morning, and when I see the Burj, I think to myself, how come I didn't do a better job? At the same time, I don't know what I would change about it. The design is beautiful, and when I come by and they're cleaning it, it's all gorgeous. Alibar eventually rose to being one of His Highness's most senior economic advisors, helping him to diversify Dubai's industry in non-oil sectors. Alibar reportedly was paid a minimal salary for the position, around 22,000 dirhams. But to me, it wasn't work, he says. I was fulfilling a vision and an ambition, a passion that I have. Fascinating, right? One of the richest men on earth making just $6,000. Since then, MR Properties has created a massive impact in global real estate. Architectural marvels such as the Burj Khalifa and Dubai Mall are noteworthy projects by MR. The company is one of the largest international property groups in the world, with an annual revenue of $6 billion in ongoing projects in Africa, Asia, Europe and North America in addition to the Middle East. Over the past 17 years, MR has redefined the dynamics of property development, which now serves as a template for others across the world. Tech is the next frontier, said the MR founder in one of the recent interviews. He also indicated the diversification of MR into the silicon world. The company reportedly invested a jaw-dropping $1 billion acquiring territory in the tech scene in UAE. Today, across the world, Business development models are being reshaped and economic and innovation cycles are shrinking. Companies that do not respond to these changes risk being exposed to irrevocable risks that affect their long-term prospects. To which the founder had to say, We're sharpening our strategy to be one of the world's most valuable, most innovative, and most admired companies. No doubt he will be successful in this venture too, because for him it's more than making money or living a rich lifestyle. It's about serving his king, his country, and his people. What do you think about the mega-rich business tycoon of Dubai? What's next in his agenda? Let's know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, then please like, share, and subscribe to our channel where we will discover more such lavish lifestyles. See you in the next video.